Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. This week, I want to talk with you about how you can use uh, an open authorization access token to access SharePoint Online in a secure way. In fact, uh, you can easily retrieve uh, a whole access token using either ADAL, which is the old school library provided by Microsoft, or MSAL, Microsoft Authentication Library, to get an access token with the new school library. Or you can even write custom code uh, in some circumstances, like for example, when you want to use the home behalf uh, flow of open authorization, which is not uh, available out of the box in MSAL. But whatever is the technology that you will use to get an access token, you can easily provide the access token to SharePoint Online and through CISOM using, for example, the PMP Sidescore library. And as such, you can then consume SharePoint Online uh, with an authentication based on open authorization. So let me move as usual to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So first of all, in order to consume SharePoint Online, uh, providing an open authorization access token, we need to register a custom application in Azure Active Directory. Here is, for example, the application that I registered. It's a really simple uh, uh, app registered in Azure Active Directory and configured from an API permissions perspective to have access to SharePoint uh, with all sites.read permission. In order to do that, you simply need to click on Add a Permission. You will have to select SharePoint, Delegated Permissions in my case, in my scenario, and then you will have to choose the permission that you want to have, that you need to have in order to access the target API and to do what you need to do. In my scenario, I will simply need the title of a site, and as such, I simply need all sites.read. Moreover, in the authentication section, I configure my application, which will be a console application for the sake of simplicity. I configure the app registered in Azure Active Directory to have uh, the mobile and desktop application platform supported, and I configure the default uh, uh, return URL that you can see right here. Aside from that, I have a SharePoint Online site, which is a human resources site, just for the sake of having an example, and I'm going to access this site and to read the title of this site using a .NET console application. In this application, if we have a look at the packages.config file, I installed the SharePoint PMP Core Online library, so the PMP site core library, as well as I installed the Microsoft Identity.client, which is MSAL. Then, inside my application, I configure the client ID of the application registered in Azure AD, as well as I created an iPublic client application variable, which is an interface provided by MSAL. So, I expect to have in the arguments of my console application the URL of the target site, which is my case. And in fact, if I go to the properties in debug, I can see the URL of the target site. And if I have the URL, I simply rely on a custom method which will get the access token and use it to consume SharePoint Online. In order to get the access token, first of all, I extract from the URL of the target site the tenant part, so the HTTPS uh, name of the tenant.sharepoint.com. And I create a public client application using the public client application builder of MSAL, providing the client ID of my application, configuring the default redirect URI, which is the one I selected in the Azure uh, Active Directory Management Portal, and I ask to build uh, the public client application, which I will use uh, to make a request to acquire a token with an interactive approach, so I will have an interactive UI. The token will have to be a token with the uh, scope, the permission scope for all sites.read targeting the audience, which will be my SharePoint Online tenant, and I will execute the request to acquire the token. You will see I will have a prompt, a UI, which will prompt me to provide my credentials, and I will get back an authentication result, which will include as a property the access token. Of course, and for the sake of completeness, I'm going to show the access token in the console UI, but I can also show you, and this is just for the sake of explaining the concept that I'm talking about, I will use a JWT security token handler, and I will process the access token to be able to show you the content of the access token. But this is just for the sake of explaining you what is happening. It is not really needed in a real solution. Moreover, 
I rely on the authentication manager type that we have uh, in SharePoint PMP. This type uh, is defined uh, in Office Dev uh, PMP dot core. And using this object, I can use the method get Azure ID access token authenticated context, which will accept as the input argument the target URL of the site and the access token to use in order to access the target site. And it will give me back a client context of the client side object model of SharePoint Online. As such, I can then use SISOM, as like as I always do, to get, for example, a reference to the web object, to load it, to get the title and to execute the query with the execute query retry method that we provide in PMP Sitecore. And right after that, I will be able to read the title of my site and to show it in the console. So let's run this application and let's see what is happening. First of all, I get the target site URL and I will extract the tenant URL. So let me do that. Let me run the code until this uh, uh, cursor position. And now in SPO tenant, I have my tenant uh, URL. Then I can create a public client with the public client application builder, and I can make a request for the access token. So let's do that. And you will see, here is the prompt. I can select the user that I want to use. I will have to provide my credentials indeed. And once I've done that, I will get back an access token, which we can see in the console application as well but I will use this access token with the token handler just to show you that we have uh, some useful information inside the token. So run to cursor again, and here in the token object, if I go into the content of this object, I can see that I have, for example, in the collection of claims, the audience, which will be my target tenant, which is what it was supposed to be. I also have that I am the user who uh, has the access token issued to, and I also have uh, in the scope claim, the all site dot read the permission scope, which is the one I'm looking for. So if I run to cursor again, my code right here, we can see that in the web title, we have uh, the human resources value, which is the one we were looking for using SISOM and using the open authorization access token. So really simple and easy using MSAL and the public client application builder, you create a request uh, to acquire an access token, and once you have it, you provide it to the get Azure ID access token authentication co authenticated context method of the authentication manager of PMP, and then you simply use the client context as like as you uh, do on a daily basis whenever you use the client side object model. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.